Guys, what's going on? It is Wong Gaming here, and today I am going to be playing the Black Desert like usual. And I uh, actually just recently bought this application, it was free, but uh, I downloaded this application on the App Store. Hopefully that'll get us a good timer, um, because I'm going to be using that so I don't have to like check the time every um, so often. I set it for 15 minutes, so they're going to be 15 minute episodes, um, and if an alarm sounds, that's probably because the timer's done. Um, I've never actually used this application, if that makes any sense, but... Yeah, what I wanted to do today was sort of um, flatten this out because I realized after trying to get back and forth from my little home over there, this is a trap. If, believe it or not, this is kind of a trap because what it does is every time you try and, you know, are getting away from something, you fall into these little cracks and then it's very hard to get back out. So, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a trap that um, Vex has put in. So I just kind of want to make it so that it's a bit easier to just navigate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take down some of this stuff, but then I'm just going to fill in the rest with, like, sand and stuff. And another thing that I wanted to have accomplished today is I want to try and navigate up to the top from one of those little pillar things. I think it'd be a lot easier if we used a pillar to get up there because I want to make sure that... Um, if there is any trees, I need them, like, very badly right now. Um, so, yeah. Looks like we'll just use the rest of that cake here. Um, let's just throw the diamonds in there, the bucket. Actually, the bucket we could use. Um, actually, you know what? That would be a great idea to try to get up there. Okay, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to use a water bucket thing. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen one. Uh, being used, but it actually is fairly, it's a fairly good way of using uh, the water to sort of navigate things. Okay, so let's just throw all this stuff in there. Don't need a rotten flesh. Might need a clock. Um, we'll take an extra bed just in case. Alright, this should be good. And we need some food. That would be bad. Just take some of these and... Um, we'll see how we're going to do this. Okay, yeah, that's good. Now let's go and... Do this. Okay. So, what I'm thinking of doing is when we get up a little ways, I'm going to, when we get up fairly decently high, I'm going to sort of make it an overhang on the waterfall so that I can actually, you know, uh, get a little bit higher as well because this might take quite a little while to do. So, yeah, this is kind of how I've learned to do it, just fairly quickly. Do it like this. And see, we're almost at the top already. Let's see how far we've came. So yeah, we've came really far in that little time. And um, yeah, so this is what I don't know about. Um, don't necessarily know how I'm going to navigate this. I think it'll be pretty easy. Um, shouldn't be that difficult, actually. Whoa, that is what's scary about these. You get trapped in where the uh, water just is falling and has now gone. Um, can be a little scary because you fall down pretty far. Quickly, oh, there was a ledge there. Let's see, is this a ledge? Yep. All right, we'll just stand onto here. And, yes, okay, so there's tons of resources up here. So, actually, just trying to scope out where everything is. Okay, I think I know what we're going to do. Um, first, what I want to do is bring up a bucket of water so that I can make an infinite pool here. 
and actually what I would like to do is make a house up here because there's just so many resources and it's not really needed as of right now if you know what I mean like a big house isn't really needed right now so okay and the climb up oh getting pushed there we go and climbing by with climbing um not by other rocks is really easy so I'm gonna break some of the blocks by the water um, so that it'll make it the whole trip just a whole lot quicker. And all right, we got on the ledge on there. Sweet. Okay. All right, how do we want to do this? Let's just take a few more in. Let's just put an infinite pool spring right here the two buckets that we have oh oh god that was close that was really close okay so I want to throw one at as far away as possible from this so that um, we can travel up here a little bit quicker and that'll be the way we get up and then I want to put a bucket or a, a ledge deal right here so that'll be how we get up and then what we're gonna do from here is travel along this edge Hopefully, I'm trying to think of the best route. Hopefully, what we'll do, oh well, yeah, this will be perfect actually. Just go across here. Mm, man, I have hiccups, excuse me. Um, probably should make this too wide just in case. Okay too wide and then what we're going to do is we're just going to go up a little bit and this is all very very difficult without any torches that's the problem here and then this shouldn't be too hard for me because all you have to do is just make sure you're out a little bit then we'll be able to get up all right, that's perfect. And actually, oh no! There it is. Oh god, oh, okay. That scared me because I cannot do any of this stuff without this. I'm gonna take a little bit of damage, but it's all right. It's worth it. I got my bucket back. Okay, so we got everything down. It's just now we need to sort of implement it by, um, oh wow, this is a strong current. Uh, implement it by um, being able to sort of use it a little bit better. Uh, because as of right now, what <laughs> this is going to be like, we have to climb up one water stream and then over here so I want to make it just one water stream and the only way we can do this is if we get a good position over here oh my goodness I did it again I'm gonna change it from Q hold on guys option um just I'm sorry I'm checking on the time okay options controls Q I do not want Q I want M Oh no, I can't do M. Let's do O. Let's do O, okay. And hold on guys, I just want to make sure this timer is correct. Okay, yeah it is. Um, so what we're going to do right now is basically just do that same exact thing, except over here. And this one should take a little bit longer because it isn't on the wall. But what I'm going to do is I'll move it away from the wall after we get up there. So that it'll be a little bit quicker to get up there after we're done. If that makes any sense. Alright, we are almost up there. This is going to be very, very helpful. For later. There we go, we're up there. Sweetness. Okay, 
Yeah, that is a extremely tall waterfall. Oh, wow. Okay, it looks like there's something right there we need to go check out. And what I'm going to do now, pick up that water bucket, move it two away. From here. And then I'll just plop down the water bucket right there. Oh, 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 don't connect. I'm just going to make sure they all disappear. So it makes it a bit easier for me to tell where the water is going because it doesn't disappear. There we go. It's going down. All right, so once that, while that's going down, I need to do a little bit of investigating up here. Actually not. I want to get over there, and that's sort of where everything, it seems like everything is. So maybe if there's something in there that'll help me out. If there is a sapling, that will just make the game easier. Not easier exactly for me, but it'll make the game... I can do a lot more things if I have. Alright, that should be good. Now... Yep, okay. That's good. Now, um, what I want to do... Oh god, no skeleton. Skeleton. Creeper over there. First of all, I need to get out of here. And actually, for right now, I'm going to need to use that water bucket. Don't you dare shoot me off the edge. Oh, forgot it was O. Probably should have kept that, but you know I need inventory space. Oh, okay, no, I can get down there. There's one bit of ledge sticking off. Only problem is gonna be getting back up. Perfect. Okay. So it looks like this is the victory place. I will be putting all my wolves in here. Um Okay, this is a lot of wolves I need to conquer. So I got the pink wool. That was what I got so far. And the pink wool, for me, it, it wasn't that hard, but I think that must have been the easiest because if that wasn't the easiest, I don't know what the hard ones are like. So, yeah, we're in for a surprise on some of those. All right, so I thought I saw another one somewhere. Um, hmm. All right, well, we'll just have to see. Goodness, this is going to take forever. Because I want to be able to come back down here. This is not good. It is turning dark. But all of these mushrooms are multiplying, which is very, very good for me because that gives me a good uh, food source. And what I'm going to do now is I'm on the lookout for a tree. If I can find a tree, that will be great. So I'm going to go look for a tree. It is almost nighttime, I, I believe. We got a chest over there. Okay. Let's see if there's anything surrounding it. Oh, there's a chest in midair over here. Didn't know that. I think this might have been like a messed up fall or something. Okay, I want to take my time on this one.
Sweet. Got a few supplies here. I'll take all of those because I need them. And all right, we should probably go ahead back over to here and brought a bed so we can just use our old little shelter we had. Um, let's get the way up there. Oh, it's right. oh it says the time. Oh, that's cool. So the timer is complete. So this will wrap up this episode. And I will be back with my next episode starting right here. So I'll see you guys later.